Okay, so I got my CCTV security camera lenses in from Amazon.com. I managed to, I use these to uh, lightly, and I mean ever so lightly, grip the housing on the board. And I turned the lens with this. And ta-da! It popped right out. Well, it didn't pop. It I unscrewed it, despite the fact that it had some glue on there. Have my other lenses here, of which I like my 18 millimeter. But, I mean, it does pick up infrared. It's just that, uh, this particular one is kind of out of focus unless, like, you know, it has to kind of just lightly set in there because it's not long enough for the kind of lens it is. See? It's really, like, not in focus. Uh, here, let me turn this off here. I can't, I can't turn the flash off. But, as you can see, those gauges look pink. So, yeah, they're not pink. That's picking up infrared light. And, uh, it works. But you're gonna have to take and take this little piece right here that comes with three of them one for each lens and it looked kind of like this that's why I thought that was a separate piece right there it's not that's what it looks like that's your sensor it looks like a one-third or one-half sensor I was right scary camera lens you know and uh you know glue it onto here like you have to glue this onto here so that you can focus and have something, you know, meaty enough to to keep that sitting there because it's not going to stay there. It just has to, like, rest right there so you can focus it because, it, once again, this camera was not designed for this lens and the housing is too close. Either that or you're going to have to find some way to lift the housing so that the lens, so, so that it's above or, you know, make the housing taller or something. I recommend gluing one of these on there. It's so simple. You could just use super glue or some kind of glue or whatever. It, it'll be fine. Glue that on there like that. And uh, then you'll be able to turn it and focus it to your heart's content. It'll be a wonderful day. I don't know what that button is. There's a button right there. You see that button right there? That switch. I think that's a reset switch. Yeah, it's a reset switch. It says reset on the other side. Never mind. Well, that's that. And that's it. Have fun. And once again, that's your battery. 3.7 volts. 3.7 volts. Lithium-ion battery. This one's 700 mAh. You could take red wires positive, black wires negative. This is attached by a screw. This one is soldered on or something. It might even be a screw. Yeah. And the other both soldered on. Just take and, you know, snip, snip, or solder, or whatever you want to do, and take and attach uh, whatever battery you want, as long as it's 3.7 volts. I recommend getting one from the vapor store somewhere. If that is indeed what you want to do. There's plenty of watertight cases on the market in Walmart. You know, if you get some sort of PVC cement, get some rubber tubing run the wire through here somehow or make a battery pack out of one of those pl plastic cases that looks like this you see how this has a clip clip right here plenty of these in Walmart they're just flat and they're not for cameras so you know they probably ain't even gonna fit in this up I put that lens in there but then this unscrews too so whatever I might do something with that maybe I won't I don't know what it looks like under there it's probably something who cares I have a camera. 
that, 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 so that's how you install these these lenses, I guess. I might look and see if there's any other plastic housing on uh, on eBay. It looks like I might be able to install a different plastic housing because that hole right there and that hole right there and that hole right there that hole and that hole look like I can install a different plastic housing on here. I could probably, it, it's just a board with a for it's just a board camera housing so you can pick those up on Amazon or eBay too